I gotta commend Microsoft. They do make some beautiful looking laptops. Like this is a beautiful product, but I feel like it's an optical illusion for the student going back to school because they're gonna walk into a store. They're gonna see this product and they'll be like, wow, that is a really nice, cute little looking laptop. It's 12 inches. It comes in a variety of colors. I just brought a brand new iPhone 15 in green. It's gonna match perfectly. Or maybe you're some hardcore baller or Android user who just bought a OnePlus Open. You go there, you see the price of $9.99 and you look at it and you're like, wow, this looks just as good, if not better than a MacBook Air. And the price is actually a little bit cheaper. You touch the top of it, you realize it is made out of aluminum, even though technically the bottom is kind of a plastic with some recycled aluminum inside of it. You have a couple of ports like your Surface Connect on the right hand side, your USB-A on the left with a Type-C and a headphone jack. You pick it up, you touch it, you realize it's super light at 2.5 pounds, but then you take it home. And you know what happens when you take it home? You turn it on and then you look at the display and you say to yourself, what the heck is this? You know, like I'm glad it's three by two because it gives me that extra vertical space. And that's what I want when I'm like, you know, jotting down notes and looking at documents, but then you stare a little bit closer and you realize you can see the pixels, the pixels on a thousand dollar laptop. And you're asking yourself, why does that look so dirty? And then you realize the color accuracy is not even that great. The screen brightness is good, but it's not color accurate. And even the color gamut is quite low for a laptop at this price point. And then it gets a little dark, you know, inside the house and you can't see the keyboard and you're looking for the button to turn on the backlight so that you can see the keys. But then you realize it doesn't come with one. For $9.99, you didn't get a keyboard that has backlighting. Maybe they had to pay off the sticker guy because there's no stickers on this laptop, but there's no excuse not to have backlighting on a thousand dollar laptop. Oh, but don't worry, it has a power button over here and a 720p webcam, which by the way, looks okay, but it's obviously nothing special. So this is what the microphones sound like on the Microsoft Surface Go 3, also 720p webcam. You guys let me know how it sounds and how it looks. You touch the bottom trackpad and you realize it's not the same haptic touchpad that your bigger brother has on his Surface Laptop Studio. It still feels good, but it's obviously a little bit tiny. But then you realize one other thing. The specs inside of here are kind of bad. You think you got ripped off. You think it's a mistake, but when you load up the system menu in Windows 11, you see i5-1235U and 256 gigabytes of storage for $9.99? You bought a processor from a year ago? This can't be true. And then you realize you just got ripped off. Like completely ripped off to the point of no return because you know what you can get for $9.99? In fact, do you know what you can get for $6.99? I'm gonna tell you. For $8.49, which is $50 cheaper because this is the spec'd out model, spec'd out model with 256 gigabytes of storage, but for $8.49, you can buy a 15 inch Asus laptop with an OLED display, which is significantly better than the display on this, an i7-13-620H, a processor which is significantly faster and newer than the one that's inside of here. Oh, and an RTX 3050 for $150 cheaper, but it gets better because for $899, which is only $100 cheaper, you can buy a Lenovo Yoga Slim 7 Pro. And the reason why I'm bringing up this laptop because this is actually 14 inches and closer to the size than this. And for that price, you can get a 90 Hertz display, a touch screen that's also pixel dense, a Ryzen 7 7735HSCP, which is probably gonna give you better battery life. Oh, and an NVIDIA RTX 3050. But maybe times are a little tough for you and you realize that you wanna save a little bit more money. For $699, you can get an Asus ZenBook 14X with a 2.8K OLED display, touch, i7-13700H CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and double the storage. Do you see my point here, people? This is probably one of the biggest ripoffs in tech in 2023. And it's unfortunate because what Microsoft has right here is a gorgeous laptop. In fact, if this was priced right, this could be the best laptop for a lot of students. But the price on this is so exorbitant that I can't even recommend this to my grandmother. Now, maybe you're still interested in this laptop. And if you are, you do have 
an i5 1235U, which is fine, I guess, you know, it will get you through your typical stuff like your studying and typing your documents, and it will give you the performance of a processor from last year. It's not gonna turn any heads, but it will get the basics done. Fan noise is actually, you know, kind of low, but the fans are always on. You will hear them in class, even when you're sitting down and just doing basic productivity. If you do decide to push this thing to its full potential, you will hear the fans. Sometimes they'll go up to 46 decimals, which is loud for a laptop this size. Heat management's okay, as it should be, since we are using a CPU from last year, that's an i5. And, but the performance on those core clock speeds are a little low for the processor that's inside of here. Also, a lot of those laptops that I mentioned for $9.99 are a lot easier to get into. Some of them do have soldered on memory, but you know, the SSDs are easier to access. And yes, you can upgrade the SSD inside of here if you really want to, but it takes a lot more work to get inside. And the speeds of that SSD are not equal to some of the newer laptops that are currently on the market today. So yes, Microsoft has created a beautiful laptop. I love the look of this. I think it looks fantastic. I want Microsoft to continue making products, but when you come on the market for $9.99 with a processor from last year, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage, man, you really are going after stupid people because that is an absolute ripoff. And if you want something that has much more value, will give you a lot more for the money, I'm gonna place a list of stuff that I found online that I think are better options for the price than this guy right here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.